Welcome back guys, uh, right now I'm going to do a quick review on Locala Mines and what you need to do and I'm uh, not going to waste any time actually clear, I'm just going to go step to step to step and this video is going to be very short, really to detail and this way you will have no problem knowing what to do. Alright, uh, once you come to Locala Mines you have a several, uh, you, have, you could do several things, you could either go to the right or go to the, uh, or well, you know, go to the left. What I mean by the left? Uh, you have to destroy this thing right here on your left. After you have destroyed it, please move on. Uh, you could talk to this guy right here that's underneath this wooden crate, but he's just a uh, talk smack about Mador Mador Madora and uh, yeah, nothing really important in my opinion. Then you head over here and uh, here's the first thing that controls the skeleton's mind. Once you destroy that, the skeletons who can now talk to you and can progress in the quest. So, uh, let's quickly destroy this. After you have defeated them and looted, there's a little tiny key that drops by them and looted these two chests right here. Uh, now move on to the next stage. Please proceed on to breaking the stone here. And now talk to one of the skeletons. Now continue on. As you continue into Lucala Mines, you will discover this waypoint right here into Lucala Mine Chasm. Chasm. Uh, the best thing I found to work here is rather than sinking, is just uh, Johan's invisibility. Uh, it's just basically instant cast and it just stays with you for quite some time. Now let's move on to the next step. In case you were wondering where, how did I get here, I ran through over here after I spoke to these skeletons. Then I ran here and over this bridge to the left and voila, right over here. Now I'm gonna head this way. Now, once you obtained the portal and, you know, you collected the ore, you will now need to head towards this area right here. You will need to time the mobs, uh, the death knights, how they move up and down and run between them. Please note that the, there are these traps right over here and then call it, you will have to deal with, the, with them. After you have defeated them or decided to befriend them and looted this ornate chest up here, now you would need to head down here. Put out this little fire right here and continue onwards. Now, please note that this Death Knight is going to be traveling back and forth, back and forth. So what you need to do is put out this fire first. 
unless you already have the proper fire resistance needed for this endeavor. If not, then first you would definitely put out the fire. Then you would want to destroy this barricade. Once the barricade is gone, you would need to wait for the skeleton death knight to warm upstairs. Because within this distance, he can still aggro you. Then take a sharp right. This door must be to the universe. Now Benjamin's must have been in the universe. And say Sardacondras. And voila, you have opened the door. Now, let's continue on. Please note that if you would go over here into this area of, of the mines, which could be obtained from running around this, after you pass this, you run around the corner and down here, and you can find some Tenebrium weapons down here, including a Tenebrium mine. As you can see, we got the Nebrium Air and the Nebrium Spear, and I believe I looted something else that was the. No, that was the outdated Claymore. Now, once you're in a room, I would strongly recommend looting everything in here because this is all good as the Nebrium. If you're having a problem using your Tenebrium skill or looting it, I have posted a video, a guide on how to obtain Tenebrium skill. Please refer to my playlist, uh, it's gonna be there, named on the Tenebrium guide, and I'm sure it could help you guys out if you're having difficulties with it. Now, after you looted save just in case and head up the stairs. Congratulations, you just met the conduit for the very first time. death knights would begin. In this case scenario you would not end yeah, up fighting them. You would need to run away from them altogether. Just quickly run away. Uh, no, that was a waste. Uh, fortunately enough for you, so you know these Death Knights can take a lot of steps at a time, so it's a very easy to run away from. Accidentally skipped with my character.
keep running away from them because there's nothing you can do unfortunately to fight them so as you can see I'm creating a nice little distance between us and them and make sure by the way that once you move on from this point you won't be really able to come back here that effectively as you can see this whole place gets um, hmm, well covered with lava so my word of advice is uh, make sure you've done everything here that you wanted to do first before you could continue to this battle otherwise it's just gonna be back go through the wall and up to that mirror you need to gather all your characters near the mirror for it to work After this, I will begin a little puzzle guide uh, through the Lucala Mines. But there is already a full-blown video that's available on the mirror guide on how to get through Lucala Mines. So if you guys want, you could just refer to that one. And I'm gonna cut this short because the point of this video was to show you guys how to get away from the invulnerable death knight later on it's there's no more such issues and you could have fun well i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i hope this guys helped you out uh, please click like please click, click subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next uh, guide video thank you for tuning in the location of leandra's spell is located here to get here you need to go through these mirror into the high priestess office run all the way across over here and loot this chest, oh I'm sorry, and loot it off her table right here. And also this chest is nice right here too. And as you can see your journal gets updated. Now you all you need to do is find the second half of the spell uh, which is located in Immacu Immaculate Cathedral.